everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup look. Now for most this may be a little bit more than you would normally do. I tend to add in a couple extra steps, but for the most part this is what I do for my makeup almost every day throughout the week. Uh, whenever I have time I tend to do more, but most of the time I just try to keep it pretty simple. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. Alright, so first I am going to start out by priming my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Just going to kind of get a little bit of that and just rub it all over my face just to have a nice even base. Alright, so next I am priming my eyes. I am using the Essence Eye Heart Color Eye Primer, so I just put a little bit of that on each eye and then I use a sponge to blend it all in. And then I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Setting Powder to set my eyes. Next I am going in with the Tartlet in Bloom Eyeshadow Palette. I will be mixing together the two shades Jet Setter and Smarty Pants. Uh, I just mix these two shades to get a nice warm brown shade just to add some color to the eyes. Nothing fancy, I just like to swipe a little bit of color over my lid and then I'm good to go. For eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liquid Liner and I use this to draw on my wings. For this, I always start out by drawing that angled line you see and then I use the liner to form the wing shape and then line the rest of my lid. As you can see, I do pretty much the same thing for my other eye. I just draw the angled line like you see and then use it to line the rest of my lid. And then I just kind of fill in the areas that need filled in. And I want to encourage any of you out there who have trouble with liquid eyeliner, this takes lots of practice. So don't get discouraged because you will get those perfect wings eventually. I thought I filmed this, but it turns out I didn't, so next I just curl my lashes. For mascara, I am using the Tardist Pro Mascara, and I kind of just sped this up a little bit because it's basically the same thing. I'm just coating my lashes with that, get a nice amount on there just to really volumize my lashes. And there's the finished look with the mascara on my lashes. Before I finish up my eyes, I'm going to move on to my face real quick. And for foundation, I am using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in the shade Fairly Light Beige. Just kind of spreading that all over my face. Yep. <laughs> To blend out the foundation, I go in using a flat top brush. I usually just do circular motions and that usually gets everything pretty blended in. For concealer, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. I use that first to just go and put some under my eyes in a small, almost like a triangular shape just to brighten up the under eyes and to conceal any dark circles that I may be having. Then I apply some to the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and sometimes my chin.
After I get those areas, I just kind of spot conceal anywhere I see that may need some extra covering up. Got to go with my beauty blender. And then I take that once that is dampened and I just use the beauty blender to blend out the concealer I have on my face. Next, I am using the Rimmel Stay Matte Setting Powder, and I'm just getting a bunch of that on a big fluffy brush and I'm putting that all over my face just to set the foundation and concealer. Alright, so going back to the eyes, I just take those two shades from the Tartlet and Bloom palette that I used before just to sweep a little bit of color underneath my eyes. So for my bottom lashes, I use the Maybelline Great Lash Waterproof Mascara. This may be weird that I use two different mascaras, but I like to use this one for my bottom lashes because it has a much smaller wand, which really helps me get into the inner and outer corners of my eyelashes. As you can see, I have now realized my mistake, but no problem. You can just take a Q-tip and wipe it away, and then it's gone. One sec, gotta take a quick coffee break. Do you like my mug? So now for blush, I'm going in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This is the travel size in the shade Unstoppable. I love this blush, it is so pretty. So I basically just get some on a big fluffy brush and I put it in the apples of my cheeks. and hair flip. Next for highlighter, I am using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. Just take some of this on a brush and I apply it to the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, um, the tops of my cheeks, my and my cupid's bow as well, just to give my skin an overall subtle glow. And for something just a little bit extra, I take that highlighter on my pinky finger and I apply it to my inner corners to add a little bit of glow to my eye look. Next for brows, I use the Bare Minerals Eyeshadow Duo. It is called The Promise, but I use the brown shade in the duo called Vow. So I just take this on an angled brush, and I basically just use it to fill in these sparse areas of my brows and give them a bit more definition. Look at the difference that that makes. <laughs> And there they are, my finished brows. For a lipstick, I am going in with the NYX Liquid Lipstick in the shade Push Up. This is my everyday shade. I love using this. It's kind of one of those Your Lips But Better shades and it just adds a little bit of color to the lips. Mm -hmm. 
So there you have it, ladies and gents, the finished makeup look. All right, everyone, so this is the finished makeup look, my everyday go-to makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.